Going from lefty to righty. How would he be best served stance-wise here early on, gentlemen? For me, it's to stay right-handed early on. As he is. Amir Khan has a hit. And then he'll make his adjustments. I think Bud gets underrated punching power. And it's not just the speed. Then he's able to set up his combinations. Oh, he scores a knockdown! Bob Crawford with... He was floating along, calculating, and then, oh, did he wake up! Closing that gap now. There's a right hand. Crawford, another right hand! And Khan is wobbly again! Trying to stay up! End of one! And lands. I don't oh, there's a body shot with a recovery. He needs to try to hit him with that same type of shot to get the same type of reaction. Company. Tom puts that right hand so quickly behind that gym. He's always in position, isn't he? There it is. There's a lead right hand from Crawford. And he comes with a jab right now. Kind of flicking it out there and trying to choose the right line before he had to get away from a sweeping punch. There's a lead right hand and there's a flurry on the inside. Hyper focus and attentiveness, and there's a one two combo. He's not really paying a whole lot of attention to the body of Khan the way in with the right hook. There it is tonight. He's not the bigger man or the stronger man. There it is. The knockout score to knock out in the fifth against former title challenger Edis Tatley. What a night it's already been. I'm so that stool. There's still a few seconds to go, and it comes out. We're around the fifth round. You're in the fifth round. Fourth round. Yeah, he's gonna start breaking down. Fourth round. Now, what you gotta do is keep his goddamn hands at home and shit and catch that shit. And if that isn't comfort in the middle of a highly pressure, as crazy as that sounds. So, Crawford has to stay focused. He can't get caught up like Bomax said, which is looking for the knockout because Amir Khan, he's still throwing. Oh, there man. is that right hand. All set up by the body punches from Crawford. The body goes upstairs, says that was low, does Khan. Crawford really doesn't care. Yes, sir. And right not stable. He's not wobbling. under his legs. You know, he's, he's not stable. That's man, that right hook. That's the shot that Crawford's trying oh, to Oh, good body right shot hook. by Crawford. He's trying to set the right hook up. Goes to the body again. And the right hand sweeps across the belt line. Looks for glory. Lands on the left to the body. He is Scott Moe. He landing hard power shots up top. And I'm talking about Crawford. That time is Khan came forward and opened up. There's a straight right hand from Khan to finish off. Burge is doing the best he can with what he has, you know. He ended up two different fighters, two different pedigrees, and uh, he's doing the best he can with what he has. The best way I can describe it. Huh? Getting backhand of Terrence Crawford, he's setting it up. There it is, and there's a loop. And he gives an angle. Three-punch combination. Probing with the jab back to orthodox. Probe right hand possibly to split the guard. Goes with a right uppercut. And now in the first round, he's trying to hang in there. Oh, big left hand from Crawford. Uppercut, right hook, switching back. Against Canelo Alvarez. He cares about the kid. Good right hand from Conrad. This is what Crawford loves. He loves finding the solution. He'll catch him with the straight left hand coming in. Just like there. Oh, that's one. Excuse me. Caught him on the way and now out. the jab has some success for Amir Khan. Not long going to allow Terrence Crawford to pilot that. There's a right hand from Amir Khan many times. He's running in with shots. Right hand, man. He's trying to catch Amir in between his shots. Just like that. Did you see the transition right there where he stepped back? I think it's... Huh? This fight's being stopped because of that. Still, the WBO welterweight champion of the world, Terrence Bonacrafa. Tico.